Okay, gang, time is 17 minutes past the hour. Never before in my entire career have I wanted to talk less and get out of the way sooner. <laughs> so I want these guys to play. They've been here since early this morning. They play these little bumper pieces. And now I understand you, you have no ability to actually play a complete song anymore. No, no, we only rehearse tidbits. <laughs> my they'll apologies. Be at, they'll be at the Blues Festival <laughs> playing various 10-second uh, segments. No, they're going to play for you right now, and you, they're going to knock you out. They are Preacher Boy in the Natural, uh, natural Blues. And uh, this is their leader. Uh, this is uh, Chris Watkins. <laughs> I'm your leader. Yeah, you, you ought to let the guys know that, okay? Uh, and they also have, in the band, Bill Macbeth, stand-up bass when he's not uh, lying down on it. Uh, we got Ralph Carney on clarinet, harmonica, and spoons, and Steve Escobar, sorry to be blocking. We just sort of can see in the background there, Steve, uh, on the drum kit. You, you all local guys? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're sort of spread across. So he's actually an uh, Oakland fellow, and the rest uh -huh. of us are out here in San Francisco. Yeah. Okay, so how, how, do, how do you guys get interested in the blues? Is it, did, was this from an early age? Um... It's sort of a work back process, you know. I mean, it started out with listening to fellas like, uh, you know, Eric Clapton and some of the, you know, some of those kind of players. Yeah. And it just sort of, again, a backtracking process, you know. I mean, that led back to, uh, you know, Males, Blues Breakers and Yardbirds and Cream. And then that led back to Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf. And that went all the way back to, you know, Sunhouse, Charlie Patton, all that. You wow. Know? There, there does seem to be an incredible and, and almost unlikely interest uh, among, uh, among wh white musicians in, in this black music. I mean, and of course, this would go back to uh, Eric Clapton and, uh, you know, the albums that um, Howlin' Wolf made with the... Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Well, I mean, it's... I'm, I, you know, I don't know how much of it... I, I, I'm certainly not in a position to be able to describe it in any capacity as a, as a race issue by any means, but I mean, it's, it's certainly at least at this point it's in development i mean it's a very american phenomenon as far as being a genre that was produced out of our culture and i think yeah. i mean I, i'm hard pressed to imagine being you know part of this culture and not having some sort of interest in it you know and i and where do you see how interested these guys are and how they play <laughs> would you please give a nice round of applause for <laughs> preacher boy and natural blues <laughs>
The boys can play. The boys can play. All right, when we come back, it'll be more with... Oh, man, we got lots of stuff ahead, including Herb Bluesberg. Don't go away. 24 minutes past.